You all right? Yeah. All right, I'll show you something. Don't throw up on me. Crazy. So how'd you like your first gyro ride? Awesome. What is going on, everybody? My name's Herbie Lewis, and today we're gonna be taking out the gyrocopter. If you guys don't know what a gyrocopter is, it's kind of like a mix between a helicopter and an airplane. It flies like an airplane when it's in the air, but has slower capabilities like a helicopter can have. But today, you're gonna learn about it. We're gonna show you how to fly one. Here we go. So the difference between the gyrocopter and say a helicopter is the gyrocopter has nothing powering the rotor blades up here. There's actually just this little ring gear right here that we call it. And uh, there's a mechanical drive that goes down this cowling over to here onto a belt right here that tensions up. And all this does is just pre-rotate the blades and the rest of the time the gyrocopter is in something that we call auto rotation. Essentially, auto rotation is just forcing air through the tops of the rotor blades. So you're just pushing this air through the rotor blades and it keeps the rotor blades always spinning. So once these blades are pre-rotated, all we gotta do is just act like a propeller, push it forward, and these rotor blades are gonna keep spinning as long as there's forward air movement going through the tops of these rotor blades. Now I mentioned in the last video how the Seaway is very safe. Now don't get me wrong, the Seaway is very safe, but the problem is, is that you still need some length of area to land it. This black pad right here, if we lost the engine in the gyro, we could almost land in this black pad and be 100% safe, and the airplane we're gonna need a lot more than that. We're gonna need about from down there all the way to down there. A nice clear area to be safe. Now there is a way to fix that. You don't fly over anything you can't land on or glide past. That's just a rule of thumb while flying. You do that in anything you fly, the Sea Ray and the Gyrocopter. But the Sea Ray and the Gyrocopter are both unique in their own ways. And they both have their safety features which make it nice and comforting when you're going out flying in these things and you're putting your family and you're putting your friends in them. But now I'm gonna show you guys why gyrocopter itself is just so much fun to fly. Here we go. Today I'm gonna be bringing my favorite passenger with me and that's my girlfriend Josie. Josie, say hi to everybody. Hello. This is also gonna be your guys' first time up in here too, so we're just super excited for you guys to come with us today. Clear prop. All right, you ready to go? Yes. All right, here we go. Switch to flight mode, put the engine up to 2,000 RPM. Let's and go the All right, we're gonna wait till we get 250 RPM, then we're gonna go. I have fallen the concrete line, get out back to the floor, so it goes back to the table. All right, and we're off. You all right? Yeah. That was a butt click. <laughs> Look at the cows bathing in the pond over there. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're like river. It's fun, right? So much fun. 2,000 fracking power on stall. Turn fracking. Are you getting sick or anything? Nope. All right, I'm gonna show you something. Don't throw up on me. Let's see what we go. What? How's Jody liking that? Oh my god. She gosh. loves it. All right, good. How was that? Having fun? Yeah. Now you know why I like the gyro so much, right? Yeah, definitely. Do a little bit of sightseeing. Oh, the cows are so pretty. Oh, you like the cows? A little bit different than the seaplane, huh? I think that I think the gyro is more fun. The seaplane is cool because you can land on water and stuff, but the gyro itself is more fun. Flying-wise, it's definitely more fun. Oh, look at the alligator. See it? Let's see if we can find some animals and stuff while we just go along this little... Oh, there's a big alligator right there. You should see some cool alligators and a bunch of cool stuff along this. Oh, look at the deer right here, babe. That's a big old deer. Oh, uh, yeah, look at all of them. There's a bunch of them over here. 
They're, they're all right here next to the power lines where I don't want to be. So you like it? Yes. Yeah, I love it. I love flying the gyro. We'll get up nice and high so we can do a vertical descent fall. Our vertical descent is just where we're pretty much just going to be dropping straight, like straight down, but very slowly. So this particular gyro plane right here is called the ELA Eclipse. If you guys want to check them out, I'll put their link of their website in the description of the video. But go ahead, check out some of their YouTube videos. They got some really cool stuff going on over there. This thing's made in Spain and we brought it over to the US as a kit and we actually built this gyro plane. So if you guys want to build a gyro plane, hit up ELA gyro planes. Also, we wanted to introduce you guys a little bit to our animals around the house. Actually, the interesting story behind this parakeet right here, this white one, I found him out in the field in Wellington, Florida brought him back and he seemed lonely so we got him four friends. So this is Alfred, Gerald, Coconut, and Starfruit. Josie named the parakeets. Well, she named two of the parakeets. I named the two with the regular names. She's kind of a fruit addict so that's how I came up with names of, of fruits. Also we have a bunch of chickens and this is our duck Aflac over here. Aflac. And they really like this nice shaded area that we got over here for them like a little garden and then out here come out the gate. We have a little pond over here for our ducks that we've had for quite a while. And then this is our roosting bars for the chicken. All we did was take PVC right here and we painted a little bit of all grip on there so the chickens can get up here and they enjoy sitting on this. This is the chicken coop that me and Josie actually built about a year and a half ago now. And this is our little chicken setup over here. This right here is the best dog in the entire world. This is Mr. River Pants and we ended up finding him at River Ranch. That's why we named him River. When we found Mr. River Pants, he was uh, about three weeks old, the vet said. His belly was all blown up from worms and he was extremely dehydrated and looks like he hasn't eaten in quite a long time. So now he's here. He has a couple little health issues just because of the malnourishment when he was a puppy, but he turned out to be the best dog anyone could ever ask for. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe and share the video. Tell your friends about it because there'll be plenty more like this. On that note, we will see you later. Later.